Praise the Lord, precious. Let's praise the Lord. Today, I wanted to talk about something that's been in my mind to talk about in the Lord's channel. Um, but today, I decided that I will talk about it. It's um, it's about our homes, our homes where we live, where we dwell. We have to, uh, we have to make sure that we don't have idols in our homes. Uh, by that I mean images, images and and dolls. Even if you have kids, dolls, um, teddy bears, and anything like little statues, big statues, anything that is an image of anything in the in the likeness of anything in heaven, under earth or under the earth, like you read about in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. Those things are idols. When you have them in your home, you have basically dedicated your home to the enemy. You have dedicated your home to to a, to spiritual forces of evil. I know this thing because God had shown me this thing um, in my own life where I had to get rid of stuff from my house because the Lord showed me that they were, um, they they were, um, they actually uh, raise up altars for the enemy. So when you have images in your house, anything like teddy bears, uh, dolls, any kind of images like like those, you ever see those boxes of diapers that got those images? You know the 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 one with the there's one that. Um, that has the image of of a, of a turtle, you know. That one day, God gave me a dream about this, where at first I he gave me a dream about it, where I saw in the house, the house where I'm living at was a church. It became like it turned into a, an altar, basically a church, but it was not the church of the Lord. It was not the house of the Lord. It was. The church, a church that was dedicated to the enemy because of the box that I had in the house, because of the box with the image of the turtle, uh, um, the box of diapers and stuff like that. And then right there, it was a church, but of course it was, it was a temple, but not the temple of the Lord. And I see the insignia, the symbol, the turtle symbol there in that, in that temple. And then there was a man there that was not from God, you know, uh, and and just just the place, all all, all all ultimately, the the place because the my house had this box with the image of the turtle on it and with the diapers and stuff. It turned my house into the altar of an of a of an evil spirit. And the Lord showed me that, and I saw that the in the dream that uh, I was in the house, I was in the temple. And, but it was not the temple of the Lord, and then the the symbol of the turtle, all that was there, and it was a, a different god and a different religion, and all of that. And then I was, um, and and after I have I received that dream from the Lord, I think I was supposed to have gotten it by then and remove it, removed it. But I at one point I did not. I kept buying those diapers because of their cheap, because they, they were cheap, and stuff like that. I kept buying them. And then one day the Lord gave me a vision about the diapers again because of the images of the turtle that was on them, because of the images. He gave me another dream again, another vision again, but this time it was an open vision because I was awake. I was wide awake. And then the Lord did something with my eyes as I was awake where he uh, instantly put me in the spirit. And then I was looking at something on my bed. And what I was looking at was one of the diapers with the image of the turtle on it. But I did not know I was looking at that because I was in the spirit. Wide awake, but I was in the spirit. And what I saw there, where the diaper was, with the image of the turtle on it, I saw a teddy bear. And then the Lord shifted my eyes back to normal. And he turned my, my eyes back instantly to, to normal. And when I looked there, again, I didn't see the teddy bear. And what I saw was the... Was the um, was the diaper diaper with the turtle on it, and I knew right then and there that was God 
uh, speaking to me loud and clear uh, that to not buy those diapers anymore because of the images that's on them, because of the image of the turtle. And I got that from my house, and I don't get, um, I got, God, God don't show me uh, that, that anymore. And so I just want you to know um, God has ways that he speaks. He can give you open vision about something, especially when he wants to bring your attention to something that you are not getting. <laughs> he's trying his best. Like if you, if he's trying to get you to get something, uh, he can give you dreams, you know, about it. And if he sees that you don't get the, get the dream, he might really shock you with, like a, with an open vision. And open visions are, uh, I don't know about other people, but for me, they are rare. So when I do get an open vision, that means that that's something that the Lord really wants me to, to, to pay attention to. And I just want you to know also the way the Lord talks about idols. Whenever he wants to show you that you have an idol in your life, he can show you a teddy bear. The teddy bear, you might not have a, you might not have a teddy bear physically in your house. But if you're having dreams of dolls and teddy bears and, and stuff like that, that means that you have an idol. The Lord is trying to get your attention to an idol that you have in your life. And then you can figure it out if you just think. If you just take your time and think about the stuff that you're doing and the stuff that's taking up your time, the stuff that you know probably is not a good thing to do, that you still do it. It's the stuff that you know is probably not a holy thing to do, you still do it. It's probably that that God is talking about that he's telling you to remove it from your life. Whenever God wants to show you an idol in your life, he will show you teddy bears, images. He will show you, uh, you will have visions of teddy bears and stuff like that. Or he can show you a sandal. A sandal also represents an idol in your life. Just like um, the prophet of the Lord, Dr. Uo, when he was, when he, he, there was preachings he was preaching about, when he, taught, when he was preaching about uh, the story of Moses, uh, he was preaching that to the church too. And, and then he said, the Lord God told Moses to remove your sin, to remove his sandals because the place where he's standing is holy ground. That God is literally saying that right now. Jehovah Yahweh is literally saying that right now to the church to remove their sandals. And whenever you have visions of sandals, that's also an idol. God is telling you to remove from your life. When he said, when you see sandals, that's an idol. It's usually something that you love, something that you're constantly doing that you know is, is God probably don't want, but you still do it, or you might not be sure whether he wants it or not, but it's something that you love, usually. Usually those things are idols, because the scripture says we have to, uh, if anybody has love anything in this world, and anything of this world, then the love of, of the Father is not in him or in her. That means we're not supposed to love anything in this world, you know, we have to love God first and foremost. That's the first love. And then to love our neighbors as ourselves. But God always take the first place. So if there's something else that's trying to, um, that's trying to, you know, uh, that's trying to resist the first place that God took in your life, or that's trying to contest God's priority in your life, that's an idol. You know, that right there is an idol. So I, I'm, these things I'm telling you is, is, is stuff that I learned from the Holy Spirit by revelation. Uh, when God show you visions of sandals, that's idolatry. And also teddy bears, that's also idolatry. Uh, images of dolls, idolatry. Those are, those are visions we're not supposed to have. You know, usually, but if you have those things in your house, you definitely got to remove them because that turns your our house into an altar for, for the devil. Your house uh, basically is an altar for the Lord because that's where you live. Wherever you live, the Holy Spirit is supposed to be with you. And where the Holy Spirit is, that is a temple. So if the Holy Spirit is not there because of, of A, B, and C, that is the temple of the devil. So make sure you don't have A, B, and C in your house. You know, stuff that's not supposed to be in your house, like uh, images of stuff. You know, images in the likeness, likeness of things in the heaven, on the earth, or under the earth. Things that the Catholics be having in their houses. You know, like the um, statues of Mary and little statues and stuff in front of the house, inside of the house. Those things create an, a sphere of influence for the devil to influence you. You know, there are evil spirits that comes, that dwells in those area, in those spaces where, they has their, where you have images and dolls and and stuff like that. They are physically there, evil spirits. You know, um, 
this thing I'm telling you is 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 God revealing this thing to me, you know, just in case you do not know about these things. You know, you need to know about these things because you cannot um worship the Lord very well and be in the spirit very well if you're being um if you're being um uh if you're being basically uh, interrupted uh, by evil spirits in your house because of uh, of images in your house of uh, because of dolls and teddy bears and and maybe diapers with images and stuff so be careful with these things you know be careful with images do not have any images in your house you know, do not have little dolls and statues and you know, even if it's a present from somebody don't take it you know it don't don't take it you know don't give it to nobody don't give teddy bears to nobody as an act of love don't do that those are those have evil spirits that surround them and those evil spirits create an altar for themselves in that area where those things are where the teddy bears are and so they influence the people in that house and so the lord cannot enter because of those those dolls because of these idols you know remember when you read about the book of revelation um the devil he's going to have an image of himself you know, being made uh, come to life so that people can worship that image. You see, ever since the Bible, the beginning, they had, God has been contesting images, you know, images uh, till the end, you're going to see the devil raise an image for himself because he knows when an image is raised up, that is idolatry. You know, God hates that, you know. So may the Lord bless you with this message. Prepare for the coming of the Lord Jesus in all holy, holiness. Repent of all sin. You know, make sure you receive the Holy Spirit. If you have not been baptized yet, get baptized in full immersion in water by a uh, uh, by a honorable pastor. You know, not a pastor that preaches uh, the false gospel of prosperity and and you know and 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 uh, not the ones that don't preach the truth. So. At this hour, we need to prepare. May the Lord bless you. Shalom.